Greetings, this is Earthman back to you, uh, part two of hyper composting. Um, so, what did I do? I uh, took the yard clippings, you know, with all the different lawn clippings and um, other grass I've pulled out of the yard, you know, different yard waste. Green as you can be. And some of it a little dry, some very is picked as fresh as today, you know, clipped today. And so I took that and um, I put a layer of that and then I put a little handful of IMO3 and then Bokashi and then some of my compost over here and then just continued doing that until I completely buried all the yard waste as you can see is gone and now is in this pile um, alternating it with IMO3 and Bokashi and then finally topping it off with some more of my compost which is like I said, it's only, um, I don't know, I, I haven't counted a month, but not that old. Six, seven months, six months, five months old, something like that. Uh, and so, and now uh, I put a little water on there, and then I'm going to put a little more Bokashi and IMO3 on top of that, and I'm going to cover it with a tarp, and um, just let it uh, sit for a while. Um, I'll come out here in about say two weeks and I'll turn it and I'll put the uh, you know I'll look, look at it uh, record it and that way you can see we can see what the findings are I already know what they're going to be uh, there's going to be some stuff broken down here really quick so that is an idea uh, how you can break down and compost yard waste or whatever you want um, well you know, yard waste and stuff from your garden that, you know, you're not going to eat and things that are compostable uh, that you can compost. You know, obviously, you don't want to compost a pork chop, but you can bokashi a pork chop. So uh, we'll talk about that down the road. Um, so what do we got working here? Well, we got uh, zillions and zillions of different type of microbes that I've introduced in there through via the IMO3, um, via the Bokashi, and via uh, my own compost, which already was loaded with lots of different type of beneficial microbes to begin with. And um, we allowed it in some areas, I'm sure it's going to be anaerobic, in some areas it's going to be aerobic. Hopefully both uh, of those bacteria and the fungi, let's not forget about the fungi, um, will be in there busy, busy, busy. Um, emitting uh, acids and enzymes, uh, breaking down all the different product that's in there, and uh, hopefully within um, whatever, you know, several months, this will be ready for the garden. So uh, this is Earthman uh, telling you some tales from the soil, uh, signing off.